Did you know that there's a genuine scientific experiment underway right now whose goal is to find out why we all saw that dress in different colors? But before you lose faith in science completely, you should also know that there's another experiment in progress which may help us understand the mystery of dark matter. And it involves one of the weirdest substances ever known to man. So let's find out more about this and some other wacky projects in our investigation into four bizarre scientific experiments happening right now. Number 4. The Dress in February 2015, the internet lost its mind in trying to decide whether this dress was white and gold or black and blue. Yeah, I know, right? Two years ago. This was before the days of global instability and mass celebrity deaths. What a time to be alive. But since then, while everyone else has been fighting over politics and religion, the folks at NYU's psychology department have been doing God's work in attempting to find out why we all saw the dress so differently. Neuroscientist Pascal Wallish has led this investigation, and so far he believes it has something to do with our perceptions of illumination. People who thought that the dress had been photographed within a shadow were more likely to see it as gold and white, whereas those who thought it had been illuminated using artificial light saw it as black and blue. The confusion came due to the fact that the original image was overexposed, and this means the source of the illumination is uncertain. Is it in shadow, or has it been artificially lit? In such a confusing situation, humans make assumptions and pick one. And this affects our perception of colors. Because shadows are blue, your brain mentally subtracts the blue light in order to imagine what the object would look like if it were not in shadow. So this is why some people saw the dress as white and gold. Conversely, artificial light tends to be yellowish, so when your mind subtracts this, you'll see the dress in black and blue. This experiment involved over 13,000 people and Dr. Wallish found that people's perception of the dress's color correlated directly to their opinion over whether it was in shadow or not. But why some people saw it in shadow and others saw it as illuminated, he does not yet know. Although Dr. Wallish thinks it has something to do with your exposure to daylight. People who spend a lot of time asleep during the day, such as World of Warcraft shut-ins or kidnap victims, are more likely to see the dress as having been artificially illuminated, with the opposite true for people who spend a lot of time outside. Other factors, including age and gender, were also considered, but so far no firm conclusions have been drawn. At 3. Mole Rat Plants If medical science was ever able to eradicate heart disease, how do you think they would do it? Some kind of pill? A worldwide ban on certain types of fat? Treadmills in every branch of McDonald's? Nah, those are too obvious. How about depriving naked mole rats of oxygen until they start to behave like plants? Yeah, that'll do it. The naked mole rat is a fascinating creature. They barely feel pain. They live decades longer than most rodents, and they are seemingly immune to cancer. Unlike sharks, who've been lying to us the whole time. You're good for nothing but soup, you great big aqua frauds. But in addition to being long-living pain-free cancer flouncers, an international team of researchers from the universities of Berlin, Chicago, and Pretoria have discovered that naked mole rats do something else that's rather odd when they're suffocated. They metabolize fructose like a plant. When most oxygen-dependent creatures are starved of oxygen, they just straight up die. 
since their brain cells cannot get the energy they need to survive. But the naked mole rat has a backup plan. As in low oxygen conditions, they release huge amounts of fructose into their bloodstream. And this process sends them into a state of suspended animation. Scientists believe that a similar metabolic shift could be triggered in humans who have been deprived of oxygen after suffering heart attacks, strokes, or elevator farts. And such a process could also be useful in helping humans survive interstellar space travel. It's amazing to think that we could potentially save millions of people and travel millions of miles thanks to a bunch of rodent smothering scientists. So the next time you come across a mole rat on Fallout, spare him a thwack with the super sledge. He's been through enough. Number 2. Negative Mass When I push children over in the street, they fall down. Cry for mommy. <laughs> and I laugh so hard I wet my pants. It's fun. You should try it. But if that child was made of negative mass, I would not be so amused. Because pushing it would cause the kid to accelerate towards me. And that's a lot harder to explain when the police come knocking. Obviously, there are no children made of negative mass that we know of. But in the past month, U.S. physicists have created a fluid which behaves in this very way. And it could help us to study some of the most bizarre objects in the universe. Results published in April's Physical Review Letters show that a team based at Washington State University have successfully created a liquid object which moves towards you when you exert pressure upon it. And this is something we've never seen before. The idea of negative mass was entirely hypothetical until 2014, when a group of Canadian scientists proved it could exist without violating the laws of physics. But the Washington State folks have now gone one step further and actually created such a substance by cooling rubidium atoms down to just above absolute zero, using lasers and then shooting them again with another set of lasers to change the way the atoms were spun. This combination of events made the rubidium appear to have negative mass. And although the results of this ongoing investigation are astounding, the team led by Michael Forbes says we still have much to learn. Many scientists believe that the likes of dark matter and dark energy should be considered a negative mass, so we can now try to test that. It's also believed that black holes and neutron stars can be further studied by replicating their physical states here on Earth. Before now, our only hope of investigating these bizarre objects was to wait hundreds of years until we developed the technology to build robots which could withstand the conditions. But now we're able to see how negative mass operates up close and personal. We may be able to solve some of the most fascinating mysteries of the universe without delay. And in at number one, drinking alone. Let's say you're one of life's winners and you've decided to spend the night drinking by yourself. One beer turns into two, two turns into five, and with only one left in the six-pack, it'd be rude to leave it all by itself. Then you notice there's a game on. You can't watch sports without getting thirsty. And before you know it, you're 12 beers deep and drenched in self-regret. But for some strange reason, you don't feel drunk. At least... Not as drunk as you would be if you were out socializing in a bar. So why is this? I don't know. Let's ask a crayfish. Researchers at the University of Maryland are currently investigating the impact of social isolation on the effectiveness of alcohol. And to do this, they have been getting some lucky marine creatures well and truly wasted. This experiment involves two sets of crayfish that are both placed into water tanks which contain a small measure of alcohol. One set of crayfish have been kept in isolation for a week prior, whereas the others were kept together. The initial findings from their experiments have shown that crayfish who are isolated beforehand can tolerate alcohol for longer than their more sociable counterparts. And they deduced this after observing the crayfish engage in drunken behavior. 
Admittedly, the worst thing a drunken crayfish will do is flip its tail more often and end up helplessly on its back. But nevertheless, this increase in activity clearly shows that social factors change how biological organisms respond to alcohol. The Maryland researchers believe that receptors in nerve cells may be affected by social conditions. And this, in turn, is why the efficacy of alcohol also becomes altered. But we don't know for sure what is happening at the cellular or molecular level, or if a similar effect occurs in human beings. What I've taken away from this is that drinking alone is expensive. So if you don't have any friends to invite round, just rig up a Kevin McAllister home alone type scenario with cardboard cutouts of your favorite celebrities. That should help get you drunk in no time. So, those are some bizarre experiments going on right now. But did you know, there's another one we're not allowed to talk about on YouTube, which may have demonstrated that humans can access a higher level of consciousness? You can find out more about this in our bonus video, A Higher State, which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash strange mysteries. This can be accessed by becoming a Patreon and signing up for a bonus video access at $2 per month, which also allows you to help us decide what videos to make, find out which topics are in the pipeline, and ask the Strange Mysteries team any questions you might have about our work, our lives, or our checkered sexual past. Patreon has become necessary since, amidst the chaos of advertisers ditching YouTube due to a few nasty videos, all other creators like us are having our arms twisted to make ad-friendly content. But we'd rather make videos about the things that interest you, and our ability to do this relies on you. For $2 a month, we can provide awesome bonus content for each video, and eventually with your support, we can go fully ad-free and dedicate our full videos to just the juiciest ideas packed full of the most mind-blowing content we can find. If you can afford it, our Patreon page can be found at this link here in the upper right with the exclamation mark circle, description box, or you can visit patreon.com forward slash strange mysteries and sign up there. If you cannot donate, then it's cool. We still love you. And we'll continue to provide the best content we can under YouTube's restrictions. As you'll see if you watch our recent video on five researchers who went in too deep. 